So here we've got our pieces and we've got our jig. Now the very first thing we're going to come through and do is we're going to look at the ends and see which end do we want to be up. Now for, the, for me, this one has some sniping going on down here. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but there's a bit of sniping going on. So this is going to be one of the sides I want to cut from, which means if I'm looking at this top one, there's no sniping. So I've decided that this is going to be the top edge, the edge that comes down 152 millimeters according to those plans. So we're going to get this, I'm going to mark up 152. Mark 152, I'm going to carry that line around. Carry it around. And this way we just know that this is approximately where the tapering needs to end. We also know that this is never going to be touched by a saw. So we're coming through, we're now looking for bad sides. So I see that this one's really bad. That's the one with the sniping. So I'm gonna do X's like this to show that this is the side that the tape is gonna come from. Now I'm looking at the other two sides beside that one. So I'm not looking at the back side. I've got to look at either this side here or that side here to get the taper that we're after. And it doesn't particularly matter. And so this one's got a little bit more marking on there. So I'm just gonna remove off this side as well. After that, we're going to put it in our jig. Now you've gone through and you've made your jig. I'm going to come through, I'm going to line it up so my jig is hard against the fence and all the way to the back. We'll then come through and you can either use a drill or I've got a, a screwdriver here. We're going to tighten this up and lock it in. Now it's very important when you're doing this to make sure that you're really locking it in tight because it's dangerous if it can move. So getting that where you want it and then double checking it's up against that fence hard so that it's not going to go anywhere. It's locked in. You could definitely have a second lock block down here locking it in, but because of how this jig's set up, it does not require one.